boy, it's been a while. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about how to play games and today we're going to be playing Super Mario 64. For the first time in 10 weeks, it's been two and a half months and I've kind of missed this. I've just been lazy about it and when I was just about to record more videos, my controller broke and I had to get a new one. And also, if you were wondering how I got on top of the castle, I'll go ahead and show a video that's, that basically shows how I got on top of the castle. But it's been a while. A lot of stuff has happened since I took my two and a half month break. But first things first, we're going into a new world for the first time in a while. Cool Cool Mountain, Slip Sliding Away is our first star, and this one's pretty basic. You just have to j hop into this chimney, and it'll lead you to this slide here. And you just want to go down it. There's actually a faster way you could get down it, which I'll show on screen right now. But I'll just show you the normal way, because I see my videos as sort of like a half normal like playthrough and a half walkthrough sort of thing. So if you're using my stuff as a walkthrough, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I just want to show how you do everything properly. It's not too tough, because you just have to go down a slide. This last part's a bit tough, though. But that's basically it. That's our first star in the past almost three months. That's a lot of coins. Anyways, our next star is... Lil Penguin Lost, and just like everything else I've shown so far, I'm gonna put something up on screen that shows how to do it faster. So, Super Smash Bros. Sora got announced as the final Smash Ultimate Fighter. I've been wanting to get into the Kingdom Heart games, and I'm gonna ask for the sort of remaster for Christmas, the 1.5 plus 2.5 for the PS4. I'm gonna ask for that so I could try to get into the series. Anyways, you found my you found my precious precious baby. Where where have you been? How can I ever thank you, Mario? Oh, I do have this star. Here, take it with my eternal gratitude. Here we go. Third star is Big Penguin Race, and you basically just have to go down the slide again, but you have to go down it normally, and you have to get there in a certain amount of time. So, while we're just sliding down here, Chris Pratt got announced as the voice actor for Mario, and he also got announced as the voice actor for Garfield, and... No matter what you think of, like, political stuff or anything like that, just put that aside. It's just kind of funny, you know? I think the rest of the cast is great, though. You broke my record. Unbelievable. I knew that you were the coolest. Now you've also proven that you're also the fastest. I said also twice, which is weird. I can't award you with a gold medal, but here, you take this star instead. You've earned it. Frosty Slide for 8 red coins is our next thing here, and this'll just give me some time to talk. I'm happy that we're playing Mario 64 because this has always been one of my quote-unquote comfort games where I basically, if I don't know what to play, I'll just start playing this. I didn't mean to hit that, but yeah, this along with like the two Sonic Adventure games and Luigi's Mansion and one other game that I'm forgetting to mention, those are all really great games that help me just like stay comforted. I don't know if my wording is good, but I haven't commentated in, again, three months, so I'll quit bringing that up now. The best way that I like to do this red coin mission is save this red coin for last, because it's right next to the star. I always like to go for the ones next to where the star will spawn last, because it's just like a fun, efficient thing to do. 
I don't really know why I do it other than that. Red coin number seven here. And I just have to say, you've lost your baby again. That's not what I was going to say, but I just wanted to say thank you for waiting so long. This will be the last time I bring it up. But I was gone for a while, so my apologies. How many coins do I have? Seven. Okay, so I just need to get the last one over here. But yeah, I'll be playing a lot of my quote-unquote comfort games uh, in the future of the channel. I feel like I'm starting to uh, get into a point where I feel happy about the video, the videos that I'm making. Not as in, like, I wasn't happy about the videos I'm making before, but I can look at them and say that I'm really proud of them. Snowman's lost his head. So this is one where, for some reason, this gave me trouble along with the penguin race one. I need a good head on my shoulders. Do you know of anybody in need of a good body? Please, I'll follow you if you do. So while I'm sliding down here, you just want to bring him down here, and you don't really want to skip past any parts, because if you do something too wrong, or too incorrect, then the snow body will just slide past the head here. Thankfully we did everything correctly though and he should give us a star. Perfect, what a great new body. Here, this is a present for you. It's sure to warm you up. And that's star number 25. Star number 6, wall kicks will work. The last cool cool mountain star. And this is a really easy one to do when you're speedrunning, but I'll just go ahead and do it the normal way, and then I'll show on screen really quickly how you do it the not normal way, which is by just, you can just jump to the bottom of the mountain at the start there, and it's, it's really easy to do. Ignore the conspicuous cut, I totally didn't fail to get down to a simple platform twice, and just decide to give up and go down here instead. You want to backflip onto this platform and talk to this bob -omb buddy here. Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. Ready for blast off. Come on, hop into the cannon. So we just want to jump, and thankfully wind will catch you. I wish it had caught me the other two times that I failed. But you just want to aim, sort of, you want to put the uh, top of your bottom cursor about where the crease in the wall is. I'll see if I could draw a line where it is. You just want to shoot there. And you should grab onto the tree or maybe bonk into the fence. Either way, if you're alive, then you're good. Let's see what the sign says. Get a good run up up the slope. Do you remember the long jump? Run, press Z, then jump. If you haven't learned the long jump so far, you really should learn how to do it because it is probably one of the most important moves in all of Mario 64. Just want to make a good wall jump up there, and you could... camera? You could just run across there, but what I like to do is just long jump, and get star number 26. So now that we've gotten star number 26, I can't believe we're almost to uh, the second Bowser boss fight. We want to head down to the, not really the basement, but a sort of pseudo place in between the basement and the first floor. You want to follow this boo to the backyard here, or the back garden or the garden, and this right here, this is probably one of the most famous Mario 64 spots of all time. You'll read on the plaque here, on the statue, some gibberish, and a lot of people interpreted it as L is real 2401, and a lot of people got to speculating. And, of course, with everything in the late 90s and early 2000s, people spread a lot of false information, a lot of rumors saying if you collect 2,401 coins, or if you run around this clockwise 2,401 times, 
and then punch a mirror, then Luigi will appear, or whatever the rumors were back in the day. And then, announcement soon came of Paper Mario, which had Luigi in it. Not as a playable character, but he was in it. And people were like, oh, well, it's releasing on 2401, to February 4th, 2001. So maybe there will be a hint in there on how to unlock Luigi. The thing was... The game released on February 5th, 2001, and of course, there's no hint on how to unlock Luigi. And it turns out, people mailed Nintendo, and they just put that in there as a fun little gag. And that was probably where the story should have ended, but back in 2020, which is weird to say because it feels like 2020 was yesterday, but it's almost 2022. There was a huge leak that ch proved that Luigi was, was supposed to be in the game, but he was cut, and it was revealed exactly 24 years and one month after the release of Super Mario 64. How cool is that? Anyways, you want to ground pound this boo with a cage inside of it, and this is sort of our painting to the fifth world. And this place gave me nightmares when I was a kid. I'll go ahead and explain real quick. Uh, while we're hunting ghosts here. Speaking of hunting ghosts, I want to play Luigi's Mansion sometime in the future. But this place scared the crap out of me, not because of the piano, like most people. The music has always... I've never liked the music. At least, like, the opening, like, ten seconds of it, because it's just this weird noise that I could never describe. And one time when I was playing through this as a kid... I forget how old I was, I think I was like 9 or 10 maybe, and I was playing through the game, and it was pretty late at night, so it was pretty dark in my room, and I was all alone just sitting on the floor, when suddenly Mario's character started glitching out. This sounds like a creepy pasta, but it actually happened to me. Mario's character started glitching out, and like... It, I don't know how to describe it. It's like Mario's back was in the floor or something like that. And me being a kid and reading all of this stuff online and being scared of it, I got immediately terrified and shut off my game. And I don't think I've played on my N64 since. I'm playing this on the Wii Virtual Console version. Oh, by the way, we defeated all of the boos, and here is the big boo. For some reason, he makes the womp noise, and also the laugh is just a sped-up version of Bowser's laugh, which is just a slowed-down version of Charles Martinet's laugh. Fun fact. So instead of jumping out of a painting, we jump out of the fountain. Which I'm sure there was some sort of Luigi rumor out there somewhere, especially because Luigi's Mansion had just come out in, you know, a hunting ghosts level, and it was right next to El Israel 2401. I'm sure someone spread rumors about that. Anyways, our next level is Ride Big Boo's Merry-Go-Round. And this one is also one that scared me because, you know, I like clowns, it's just when they're put in terrifying settings, that's when I get scared of them. And hearing like circus music coming from a basement in a level called Big Boo's Merry-Go-Round, and then seeing this... <laughs> this level is just scary, man. Or at least it is to a young kid. And, and we haven't even seen the piano yet. If you don't know what the p piano is, if you somehow haven't played Mario 64 before, go play it, or at least play the DS version, or whichever version you can get. Just, whatever you do, play this game, because it's a great game. Secret of the Haunted Books. But as I was saying, go play the game, because if you haven't experienced it yet, it's great. I'd personally recommend the 64DS version because it has Luigi and has some extra levels. But I realized that the controls aren't that great. So, really it's more of like a pick your poison sort of thing. Either way I think is great though. 
It's just a fun, enjoyable game that is just relaxing, except for in this level and a couple other levels. But yeah, seek the eight red coins. We'll go ahead and end off the video by experiencing the piano. So, you walk into this room on the left, and, you know, it's just a normal room. And there's a piano here, and you don't think much of it. Um, when you look over here and you see, hey, there's a red coin there. And, you know, you want to get red coins because you get eight red coins, you get a star. And so you walk up to get it. Jesus Christ. Nightmares for weeks, months even. While I'm collecting these eight red coins, Spider-Man No Way Home is coming out. There's the trailer that dropped that uh, I'm that gets me super excited, and yeah, just to see all these old villains come back and possibly Toby and Andrew. It looks like it's pretty much confirmed, but you know, you can never be too sure, you know, because you know a lot of stuff has happened in the past, especially with Marvel of hearing rumors or something like that and thinking it's pretty much confirmed and then getting to the end and being disappointed but it looks like it's pretty much confirmed but I've said that in the past before not on like YouTube or anything like that but I've thought that in the past before and what do you know it didn't happen so but yeah whether Toby and Andrew appear in Spider-Man No Way Home I'm excited for the movie because we've already got five villains and possibly a sixth one But with the 8 red coin star, we're going to go ahead and end off the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see what we could do with 30 stars now. Actually, I think the game will tell us. You've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door with a big star. But before you move on, how's it going otherwise? Did you pound the two columns down? You didn't lose your hat, did you? If you did, you'll have to stomp on the condor to get it back. They say that Bowser has sneaked out to the sea and into the underground. Have you finally cornered him? So yeah, next time we'll do what that text box said. We'll pound down two pillars, and we'll also chase after Bowser and see if we can beat the second Bowser fight. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!